Howdy, welcome. I counted from one to 100 in one minute, 12 seconds. One, two, three, 51, 52, 53, 79, 80, 98, 99, 100. So why I did that? Because it will help us understand how big some numbers are. You know, as humans, we mostly think in terms of time. Instead of saying, I drove 30 miles to go to work today, we like saying things like, I drove 20 minutes to get to work. So time is very important to us. First, let's introduce exponential notation. 10 to the one power is one plus one zeros, which is 10. 10 to the third power is one plus three zeros, which is 1000. 10 to the ninth power is one plus nine zeros, which is one billion. The dream number of everyone's bank account. So you get the idea, right? So how many zeros will be with 10 to the 28th power? It is one plus 20 zeros, right? So let's start with thousands. Many small cities around the world have population in terms of thousands or thousands of thousands. Next, let's go to 1 million, which is 10 to the sixth power or one plus six zeros. Some of the largest cities in the world have populations in millions. For example, in 2020, the population of New York City was about 8.38 million. Coming back to my rate of counting 1 to 100 in 1 minute 12 seconds or 0.02 hours, it will take me 200 hours or 8 days and 8 hours to count to 1 million in just one sitting. So if you want to keep your children or kids busy and get them off the phone and electronics, ask them to count to 1 million. That will be a good exercise for them for a couple of days. Next, let's go to a billion, which is 10 to the ninth power or one plus nine zeros. There may be over 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. As of 2022, the richest man, Elon Musk, has a net worth of 234.5 US billion dollars. And on average, the human brains contains about 100 billion neurons. Let's just take like 200 billion US dollars. The world population in 2020 is about 7.8 billion. 200 billion US dollars is like giving $25 to every single person in our planet Earth. And in 2022, the US population is about 322 million people. And 200 billion US dollars is about giving $600 to every single person in the United States. And by the way, remember my rate of counting one to 100 in one minute, 12 seconds? It will take me with that rate more than 22 years to count to 1 billion in just one sitting. A fun fact, did you know that you can celebrate your 1 billion seconds on Earth? We live our billion seconds between our 31st and our 32nd years of life. Next, let's go to a trillion, which is 10 to the 12th power or 1 plus 12 zeros. 1 trillion is about giving around $130 to every single person in our planet Earth. And one trillion is also about giving around $3,000 to every single person in the United States. And with my previous rate, you remember, it will take me more than 22,000 years to count to one trillion in just one sitting. Impossible, right? I will be long dead before I can finish counting. <laughs> Next, let's go to a quadrillion, which is 10 to the 15th power or one plus 15 zeros. One quadrillion is about giving around $130,000 to every single person in our planet Earth. And one quadrillion is also about giving around 3 million US dollars to every person in the United States. And with my previous rate, it, it will take more than 22 million years to count to one quadrillion in just one sitting. Impossible, right? Let's stop quanting. Next, let's go to a quintillion, which is 10 to the 18 power or one plus 18 zeros. One quintillion is about giving around 130 million dollars to every single person in our planet Earth. And one quintillion is also about giving around 3 billion, billion with a B to every single person in the United States. And it doesn't make sense to count to one quintillion anymore, right? By getting to one quintillion, we left Elon Musk and all the billionaires long time ago. And it is believed that the diameter of the Milky Way galaxy is about 
1 quintillion kilometers or 100,000 light years across. Next up, let's go to a sextillion, which is 10 to the 21st power or 1 plus 21 zeros. One sextillion is about giving around 130 billion dollars to every single person in our planet Earth. And one sextillion is also the estimated number of stars in the observable universe. Next up is 10 to the 23rd power or 1 plus 23 zeros. If you remember your chemistry class in high school, one mole of substance is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power units of that substance, such as atoms, molecules, or ions. The number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power is also known as the Avogadro's number. This means, for example, that there are more molecules of water inside a glass of water than there are glasses of water in all the oceans of our planet. Meaning by drinking a glass of water, then when it comes out in different ways by spitting, sweating, or going to the restroom, we are putting back some of molecules of the water right back in the environment and in the atmosphere. Next up is 10 to the 81st power or 1 plus 81 zeros. If you multiply all the stars times all the molecules they are made of, you get to 10 to the 81 power. And 10 to the 81 power is the sum of all particles that comprise the observable universe. Next up is 10 to the 100 power or 1 plus 100 zeros. This number is also called a Google. This number is 10 to the 19 power larger than the number of all particles in the observable universe. Next up is 10 to the Google power. This number is also called a Google Plex. So how many zeros a Google Plex have? A Google Plex is one plus Google zeros. There is not enough room and particles in our observable universe to write down a Google Plex number in full form. As you know, the names Google and Google Plex inspired the name of the tech giant company, Google. Here are some honorable mentions of very, very large numbers. The Skews number. Skews number is a famous large number commonly given as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 34. That was first derived in 1933 by the South African mathematician Stanley Skews in a proof involving prime numbers. Next up, Graham's number. Graham's number is named after the American mathematician Ronald Graham. This number is so large that the observable universe is far too small to contain an ordinary digital representation of Graham's number, assuming that each digit occupies one Planck volume, which is possibly the smallest measurable space. The number was published in the 1980s Guinness Book of World Records, which added to the popular interest in the number. Graham's number, or G64, is a famous large number. Using up arrow notation, it is defined as the 64th term of a sequence. Next up, 3 3 number. The 3 sequence is a fast growing function 3n rising out of graph theory, devised by mathematical logician Harvey Friedman. The first significantly large member of the sequence is the famous 3 3 which is larger than Graham's number. And there you have it. You can keep going on and on and on, and whatever big number you get to, you can still go bigger by adding plus one to the previous number. Let me know what's your favorite number in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.